cool so kind of like shifting gears i would love to hear your your, your ideas on not digital evangelism but hybrid evangelism huh. in the uh the presentation that you have i guess maybe you could give us a rundown before <laughs> your actual presentation i know you have to <laughs> deliver that in korean format so you know let me begin with my personal experience and then let me talk about the importance of digital ministry and then i can talk about more detail our main topic we call it hybrid evangelism you know back in 1998 i could have a chance to be involved in media ministry the first time in my life i was in samyuk university back then helping to implement media and also making website too yeah and i could have a chance to work together with them and my first project was making church website that's a big task how old were you i was a freshman college okay all right old enough to make a website <laughs> <laughs> you know what remember back in 1998 there's ppp connection with telephone line and, and super yeah. so uh, we need to be very patient <laughs> Back then, I got that project. It was actually a Bible study website. I was very skeptical. Like, we have a humongous computer. Yeah, you remember. Yeah. And I thought, nobody will visit this website. Yeah. yeah? And, you know, it was quite a bit long. Maybe it's one of the most well-known Korean Bible study guidelines. I know that there's a ministry in America is nothing related with okay. that. It's like it is written Bible study guideline or amazing fact Bible study guideline in United yeah. States. It's that kind of Bible study. So, like long series and question and answer. Finally, we complete our mission. First time in my life. But even though I complete, I was super happy. Why? I can get paid. For that. <laughs> <laughs> At the same time, I was super skeptical. Who <laughs> access this site and having Bible study over there? And the interesting fact is here, after a couple of weeks later, people are accessing it and having Bible study and filling all the answers. How interesting. I was very excited at the same time. After a couple of months, one man finished complete the whole thing. The whole thing and most of the answer was right. Almost 100% score. And a couple of months later, I heard he'd been baptized. And then maybe about a year later or something like that, and I heard he, later on, he became a professor of Samyuk. <laughs> That's 1998. Even at that time, people looking for gospel and truth. In Korea. Yeah, in Korea. Yeah, in digital world. That's my kind of personal testimony about digital evangelism like more than 20 years ago mm. and I found a couple of interesting data January 2023 the most popular topic in digital world you can guess do you know what is the most popular topic number one politics no surprise right of course number of course. two celebrities of course no surprise yeah. number three is very interesting do you know what is number three can read it I think religion yeah that's crazy have you thought about that religion is top three that's actually really interesting i would not have guessed that religion is the n top number three on the list i was surprised what it mean which mean digital world is one of the most important and growing mission field so we need to send people missionary to digital world mm -hmm. so we have a big, huge burden and responsibility in the digital world. And according to big data, you know, you know the big data, Google Trend. When you go to Google Trend, yeah. you can find out all the big yeah. data. Yeah. And every month. What website is that, Jeremy? It's um, Google Trend. Yeah. Google Trends. Uh -huh. Oh, it's Google Trends. That's right. That's the name of the website. Yeah. Jeremy, I know Jeremy is the expert for that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one million people Googling Bible study every month. 300,000 Bible prophecy and 50,000 they search about service they want to know about service you know what my kids they are 10 and 12 especially younger one 
I am teaching Bible at his school. I'm actually his Bible teacher. And that's good to having his own Bible teacher at home. <laughs> yeah. That's a good thing. So he asked me a bunch of different Bible questions before. You know, until he <laughs> learned how to Google. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow, that's crazy. And now that you're Googling, yeah, he, he have a que- even Bible question. And one day he said, Hey, Dad. You know what? He's much better than you. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there evil in the world, Dad? <laughs> you know, in that perspective, possibly, probably, I can say the most well-known, famous pastor in the whole world is Mr. Pastor Google. <laughs> pastor Google. Yes, sir. I found also one more interesting fact from Google Trend 2020. It, I asked Google Trend like about Second Coming. That's our main message, right? As an Adventist, Second mm-hmm. Coming. So. I type it and the range is 10 years. So I just wondered how how many people are looking for the message of second coming in Google in digital world and asking Pastor Google. And I found something interesting. You know, it's the volume of the last 10 years almost the same. But when you go to, maybe you can get the graph. April. Ah, wow, that's funny. This is the end of the world. Correct. <laughs> Four COVID. times. Four times. When COVID hit, yeah, four times. That's huge. Not just two times. Which means 400 times bigger volume yeah. than normal. What happened there? There's a second peak. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it was perfect timing that we could spread gospel, especially second coming messages, mm. through Angel's message. And anyway, one thing I found out is that people want to hear not only gospel message, but also Adventist message in digital world. That's the confirmation I found out based on all the research. And now finally we can go to main topic today I want to speak about. Back in 2019, General Conference established Digital Evangelism Initiative Team. That's a team of 150. They got quite a sizable amount of budget and they got very important special mission. Find out the best and the most effective way to reach out the people in digital world. And this team worked together and they did all different things. They tried a bunch of different things. And I have a full report. What we use marketing method for evangelism. Actually, you know what? There are many different opinions about the origin, the origin of marketing, but uh, the concept of marketing is come from Bible. The apostles, the early churches, the members, they go around different houses, house to house, and then spread out gospel message, actually present gospel. So we decided to adapt it for the people in digital world, digital evangelism, and we try to sell all different type of gospel. As an Adventist, what? What can we sell? Health. Correct. New start. We try new start. It works, actually. You know, I, I have a, I can show you this report. Worldwide, we make advertisement through all different platforms. You know, Facebook, Google, they yeah. are actually advertisement company, yeah. marketing company. We yeah. use them. We work together with AWL and Hope Channel. And when you spend $1, this price is so cheap because it's worldwide. Yeah, if you have understanding of marketing, when you have a wide territory, your marketing price is very cheap. And when you yeah. narrow down, for example, like United States is higher. When you narrowing down to Sacramento is higher. Yeah. When you narrowing down is that if you want only Korea, if even higher. Anyway, general conference is worldwide. So when you spend one dollar, six people they respond. I want to have a health message. I want to study about more health. That's good. Not, that's not, not bad. bad. Yeah. One dollar six. That's good. Mm-hmm. And what else can we present? What kind of gospel? End times. Yes. End time. <laughs> Bible. What do you do? Adventist Bible study with end time and prophecy. Four. Of course, health was a little bit better. And even we offer free gift. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. We present Bible. We present health. We present just free gift and yeah. contact and we have a follow. Five. Health. Six. Bible. Four. <laughs> Are you saying we should stop leading with <laughs> end times 
Yeah. Bible prophecy. You, you know, oh, uh, that's not the point. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, you didn't no, no, that's important still. I know many people come into Seventh-day Adventist Church to do that. I love a prophetic message. You will find out the reason why a little bit later. And next is this. It's kind of remarkable discovery in this case study. When you present prayer, for example, like, we want to pray for you. How many respond? One dollar. Prayer, 33. Isn't it interesting? 33. Mm -hmm. Next one. Yeah, I need to show this graph, this presentation. Follow up is more important than just contact, right? Oh yeah, of course. Follow up is huge. Yes. So, in case of Bible study, we give actually Bible study. And health, we give a series of health presentation. But when you see that, in case of Bible study, we have a 3% success rate. 3 out of 100, not too bad, right? Health, and we couldn't have a kind of successful follow-up. So, Bible study, end-time message, follow-up was better than health message. So, that's good reason we need to keep doing it. And Bible study, I know, gift, 0% successful rate. There's no way to have a follow-up with gift, right? Mm -hmm. Rather than giving more and more gift. <laughs> Here is the biggest thing, this biggest discovery in this case study. About the prayer, it's significant. When you see the presentation, 60% of follow-up success rate. Amen. This is really amen. Yeah. This is the point you can say all together. Amen. That's huge. That's 60%. <laughs> can you believe it? This is reports from GC, not, not by myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they have a huge case study, big, big amount of sample. Let me tell you why it's possible. When you ask prayer request, you need to open your heart. You know, one more interesting fact is here, we found out is here. In digital world, people is more comfortable to open their heart because, because it's digital. Sometimes it's hard to be face, -face, face to face in person to tell my kind of hardship and difficulty and struggle and I can pray because but in online it's much much easier. Here's first contact point. They open their heart and give us prayer request. Wait, you're saying it's so much easier um, online to Correct. ask for prayer requests? Is it statistic? Because what do you feel like it is? It's like you don't have the pressure of like someone asking you. Correct. Physically, Even, yes. Okay. It's more. It's like they feel like more privacy. Yeah. Yeah. They they don't need to open their personality, their yeah. background story, and that's much easier. Like, cause speaking to counsel. When you have counseling, usually you have, <laughs> you have a personal relationship with that counselor. You yeah. Yeah. yeah counseling cannot be happen. Yeah. So some, something like that. So according to all different study, we found out in digital world. People open their heart easier than in person. So that's why it works. First, they open their heart. And actually, we pray for them. You know, I love chat GPT and I love old AI. Yeah. But chat GPT cannot pray for us. Really? You know what? Actually, 3.5. Hey. 3. <laughs> I, when I asked, pray for me, they said I'm AI model, I cannot pray for oh. But nowadays, I think a couple weeks, something in, in chapter 4.0, and also even, even now, 3.5, they actually pray for us. Oh, that's you know, crazy. You know, here's my point. Here's my point. Even though they can pray, God never listens to chat GPT's prayer. <laughs> God, <laughs> God listens to our prayer. You know, it's usually, it, it happens many times. Someone asks, uh, their prayer request to us, right? Yeah. I, I have a difficult time, and, and your friend, and our, even our church family, we ask prayer. But usually at that time, we just say, I will pray, right? Sometimes just emoticon, yeah? Yeah. Sometimes one, sometimes three, yeah? Mm. But don't do that. That's still good. Mm. Well, this is what we found out. If we just send emoticon, we'll pray, nothing happened. But we actually, pray for them, not only that, we just text message, we sent actual prayer with encouragement to them. Mm -hmm. At that time, 
we could build a relationship. Even if you record it, your actual prayer and send them, mm-hmm. it's something very significant mean to them. So when your friend, even non-Christian, yeah, ask your prayer request, this is the perfect opportunity you can build spiritual relationship with your friend. So this is a golden opportunity. You, you know, when you have a marketing, you need to find out keywords. Yeah. What will you sell? Now we found out prayer, the work, the best, wow. what are the best contents. Yeah. So it, you, this data that you've just synthesized to what c- c- churches need to do now uh-huh. is go online and just that's what prayer. Yes, I love this data, and I love this concept. Even kids, even little kids, even my son, my younger son, ten years old, yeah. he can pray. Uh-huh. And even the older generation, it's good. Entire church family can be united together. And I never thought this is my kind of nowadays favorite term: evangelistic prayer. Your prayer can save precious soul, and your prayer actually can lead people to our church and a couple of more things you know what in psychological study average united states people around 30 percent having crisis that's almost a third of people that's crazy if you have 10 three people three that's a lot and in our, ch- our church about let's say about uh, 50 <laughs> Let's just say a hundred. The hundred? That's, that's, that's much easier. <laughs> About 30 people, 30 your members, 30 your church family having crisis, financial crisis. It might be able to be financial, mm. and relational, emotional, and health. What all different kind of ch- challenges. So now we are only targeting the people in crisis. We might be able to be in trouble together with that. No, not really. And today, this group of people can be in crisis. And tomorrow, this people even you can be trouble in this trouble world so that's normal people they are not the one who making trouble all the time anyway so we are targeting some people in crisis for example let, let me think huge yes 30 percent is huge actually we are talking the keyword is prayer we are targeting target audience is the people in crisis let's think in this way i have a friend who yeah. hate god mm. and hate church Never thought about coming to church, of course. Never thought about prayer. Mm. Well, let's think. If he is real trouble, nobody care, and he is just left alone. He feel like I'm alone. Yeah. And desperate. Nobody help. And nobody care. And at that time, if we offer prayer, of course before, definitely 100%, almost 100%, no. But in that situation, really desperate he feel like I really need prayer mm, yeah and there's high possibility say yes so we develop the model this is three different three simple concept we offer prayer the keyword <laughs> is prayer yeah. the target is the people in and, yeah and all you can do is like maybe target the people that are searching um, like credit card debt, Cur- like, yeah, that's you know, possible. maxed out credit card. Oh yeah, Ooh, that's easy. Uh huh. Those people are the ones that are that feeling are that are maybe. <laughs> You know, back against the corner, like oh man, this is stressful. <laughs> you could really, you know, that's a huge market of people. Oh yeah, that's true. Are we advertise. You know, there there are a couple of things we found out also in advertisement. Like first time. GC tried to advertise GC World Church website, and then they build a relationship, mm-hmm. and they bring, they send them to local churches. Okay, and then they found out, fail. <laughs> it doesn't work. That's so sad. So they change a strategy. Now they, we, advertise local churches. For example, who want to be in, who want to join, and try this hybrid advantage in prototype, we give them kind of education and training. And for example, like Sacramento Open Door Church want to try this. We 
advertise about 20, 30 mile radius. Mm -hmm. We call it geofence in yep. marketing term. We make geo virtual fence around 20, 30 mile. And then we target, we advertise online prayer, we offer prayer in about 20, 30 mile radius of this local church. Mm -hmm. So we can impact not only just the other side of the world, we impact directly our local community. And we are praying for our local community, our friends, our neighbors. And then this is what we found out and we developed the program we call it online pastoral care. So sometimes when you hear this term pastoral, this is yeah. kind of a pastor. No, not really. This is a pastor. Kind of like counseling, yeah. advisor, mentor. Correct. Our true pastor, real pastor is only in heaven. Yeah. Yeah. Just difference is full time or part time and yeah. yeah. But that we, we can be a pastor for all the people. So we developed online pastoral care. I'll talk about it a little bit later. And then we built a relationship about three, six months. Uh, over over text, over online, Zoom. You know what? Actually, we try to use a bunch of different platforms like YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and, and even uh, WhatsApp, many different things. Facebook worked the best. The difference between Facebook and TikTok or YouTube is here. Facebook is more specialized for Messenger. We can have a kind of messaging, so through the message. And also uh, WhatsApp, it works as well. Sure. Yeah, because it's personalized and we can, we can communicate, we can build a relationship. How does the pastoral care initiate? Like, hey, what do you need? Or like, what are your goals? Or That's a good question. Here is, I, we have a sample. Uh, kind of online. Oh, you yeah. got a whole script going. Yeah, yeah we have a even website. Uh, you can have a training and also, also there, there are all different types of training video too. So mm -hmm. I'll, I'll give you the website for Very that. Very cool. Um, oh, how are you doing? And maybe they can answer, I'm doing well, thank you for asking. And you can say, how can you assist you? And I saw the ad. And if you could pray for me and my family. Like, yeah, this kind of <laughs> uh, yeah conversation in do chat or Facebook or Instagram message. Mm -hmm. That's the that's work the best. And of course, we would be happy to pray for you. Is there any specific that you would like to pray for? Even though, yeah. even though he asked, pray for fa my family. We can we can ask more detail. So yeah. when you ask more detail, they open more. Yeah. yeah. So that kind of communication. This is kind of the online pastoral care train. How can you build a relationship in online? And then we can pray actually. And I, we have a full script. You can see, and then at the end of the, our communication, we actually write the prayer and send. That, that last slide with the bold text. Uh, this the, is prayer, yeah. The pastor, you train the pastors like, hey, record yourself, send, send that out. Yes. The text works. But when you actually record and send, that works better. You know what, GC, there is, maybe you heard, Adventist Teams. There's app. Uh, it's kind of invitation only, but I'll send you all the link. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, digital evangelism app. At this point, two things. We want to gather all digital evangelism methods over there. And then we want to bring all digital missionaries over there. So we can share, distribute mm -hmm. the gospel message. That's the main at this point. But there's next stage. We are kind of now review process. It's already works not in public the next stage is here for example in gc as i mentioned there we found out they don't need to advertise world website world church need to emphasize and advertise local church for example if they advertise this prayer request prayer ad mm -hmm. in this sacramento area and if you have that app and there's a certain level level one two three four ten and if you have a certain level, which means you've been trained. And certain level, I think level number three, above. And if someone asks prayer request, and through that app, it pops up. If you are in Sacramento area. Yeah. And there's one little button. You can click it, and then you can record it. After you record, you finish, you send it over with your... <laughs> it's cool. Yeah. It's on the way. It's kind of finalizing process. 
when someone asks you a prayer request, I'll pray for you. It works. Yeah. But better thing is actually pray and type your prayer, send it. That works much, much better. And then better thing is if you actually record prayer and send it, that works even much better. So prayer and spiritual counseling, it's not counseling, just more encouragement okay. with Bible verse. Yeah. Yeah. We are not professional counselors, but at least as a Christian, we can give them yeah. Bible text and prayer, so encouragement. And the whole point of this online pastoral care is we care. If sometimes they feel like we are unknown, nobody cares. But through this process, whole process, love and care. I care you and God care you. That's the whole point. First day, that's gone about five, ten minutes. And then after two days later, contact again. We can ask how your family is going on. We can ask. Through this, we can build a relationship. Now we have a topic to talk. No, yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's huge. And then let her know, let him know, I'm praying for you, I care you, and God care you. And then can maybe possibly God made miracles and the family issue kind of gone or still struggle. Even though our prayer is not answered yet, we need care. We are not kind of problem server or something. We cannot even solve their problem. We can yeah. express our love and our support and keep praying for him. You can pray again, second day, after two, three days. And then after one week, contact again. This is huge. Correct. This is what's stopping the general conference from implementing this now, like tomorrow. We are actually we are doing it, but we want to find out the better way. Through all the failure, we improving a lot. For example, like even online uh, advertisement. And we are doing it in Central California Conference. Uh, for example, we did it at Brazil. We spent $1, 100, 100 response. Yeah, that's really good. We did it in England. You know how much we spent? $200, one person. Wow. Everything in Brazil works, right? <laughs> Especially in this world. Yeah. Brazil works the best. Anyway, we are wondering, since we live in California, we will be wondering how much we need to spend. Yeah. I feel like a lot, but... Yes, we all wondered, yeah? Especially we are targeting Central Valley, uh, cent not Central Valley, uh, yeah, some in Central Valley and most of them in Silicon Valley and San Francisco, mm -hmm. Central City. And you know what? Statistic in NAD, North American Division, San Francisco, Silicon Valley is most un unleashed region. Wow. The smallest of Adventist ratio in whole United States and even California. So, it's secular city. So we just wondered. First time, we test about say, seven, eight dollars for one content. It's not too bad. About 7.8 dollars, something like that. But we are lowering down to test and test and test. Now about 1.7 dollars, something like that. And marketing team is still working hard even try to lower, which means it works in, in California. Yeah. And we found a bunch of different we're still improving. So that's why we call it prototype. But this time in California, Central California, especially Silicon Valley area, we are about 45 churches in Silicon Valley and Central Valley together. This is first time more like a massive test together. If yeah. it works well, we can kind of express and we can present more with confirmation of content. Actually, this is the first time English church in United States. They tried Orlando, but it was Portuguese church. And yes, let me tell you something interesting about the Orlando case, how it works. Yes, please. Many of the pastoral care team was in Brazil. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I, got it. I got it. And they sent them to the church in Orlando, United States. Yeah. It's a little bit tricky. So we are improving it even that part. So in case of Central California case, we include church members of the local church and even pastors of the local church. Yeah. Actually, church members giving this online pastoral care for their community and then bring them come to church.
So that's what we are kind of still improving. We don't know how it works with especially training a local church member and make them online pastor care team. Yeah. So we'll see how it works. So this is the reason why I'm telling you we are still testing and finding the most effective solution. And just let me show you one example of the sample numbers for as I mentioned that in November we did it at Orlando. 27 decided to come to church. We spent $2,500 and 23 decided to be baptized. Not finished yet. Seven already baptized, which means we spent $2,500. Actually, a team of six, six people work together, give this online pastor care team. Mm -hmm. And almost 50 come to church, around half of them made decision and still on the way of Bible studying for that's 23, but seven already been baptized. Have you heard this amount of project of you know, this is evangelism? It. And you know what? $2,500. Yeah, $2,500 and six of them are not pastors. They are lay members mm. who've been trained for nine pastor care team. Let me, let me tell you just one person, the man named Roberto. He converted to Adventism in 2016, not a long time ago. You know what? He was the one who started this Facebook messaging mm -hmm. and prayer and build a relationship. And on that year, 2016, he converted to Adventism and he baptized 45. And through his ministry since 2016, he baptized more than 1,200 people. He is a full-time police officer. He's still working <laughs> full-time. And lay member, not a pastor, even 2016, he became an Adventist. More than 1,000. You know what, even that Orlando case, he's in Brazil, and he was part of online pastoral care team. And out of six, he was one person. And according to our report, about 50 come to church, right? Out of one person, this is Roberto Roberti, more than half of them, more than 25 come to church because of this one man. He usually follow about 1,400 messaging, pray. Like just five minutes, one minute, ten minutes, every couple of days, he follow up. He constantly follow up and bring them to church, and which means you can do that. We all can do that. Even not a pastor, even lay member, even you have a full time your work, you can make it happen. So I'm super excited for this ministry. Anyone can pray and join this prayer evangelism and this hybrid evangelism. And there are a couple of key element. The first one, as I mentioned, the prayer uh, advertisement, we can start a relationship. And then online pastoral care, we can build a relationship. And there's also important element. If you do it church-wide, prayer meeting. Actually, at that time, we can have our church prayer meeting. That prayer meeting will be more special because we have a special reason to pray together. Okay. We pray for our community. I keep asking to that person, we have a prayer warrior. Can I give this prayer request to my prayer warrior and prayer team? Most of people say yes, right? Mm -hmm. So that in that way, we can let people know there's someone, not just one person, the group of people who pray for me. And then our timeline is three months. We build a relationship for three months. And in three months, we have online pastoral care, advertisement, online pastoral care, and actual prayer meeting of church. And I believe it can bring a revival for our church as well. We need to pray for them, actually. At that time, God made miracle and God bring them, God make them open their heart even more and build our relationship and trust. After three months, here's our plan. We bring them to community service. For example, we are doing community service like canceled driving. So bring your can, let's work together with your prayer team. So that's oh, the first time. Wow. Yes. In, instead of bringing our worship service, yeah, there's no kind of so, yeah, right? That's like the you lower the barrier for entry. Oh, exactly. So exactly. easy. You're working together with your prayer team. It's fun, right? Yeah. And for community. So in that setting, we meet the person the first time in person, and then we can invite them to our June Bible study or June online prayer meeting. So three months later we can build a relationship and then bring them to public evangelism, especially prophecy seminar, so that there's this urgency for that.
Mm-hmm. And that's a kind of brief outline of this hybrid evangelism prototype. One more important uh, element on here I forgot to mention. Also, we are studying and we are keep improving. The one thing we found out is that when you have a prayer request, if you respond to it within two, three minutes, it works the best. Right, right. And after three minutes, even though you answer, the success rate of follow-up is going down and six hours later, almost yeah. nothing. Yeah, in sales and marketing, we call that speed to lead. Mm, that's true, that's true. That's um, the moment that they come in and uh-huh. they submit their name, the number, right. information, uh-huh. you contact them as soon as possible. Exactly. So when we have this, we have a two different team. The first one is immediate response team. They just in an initial contact. Mm-hmm. And then send them to, we call it the long-term care team. So they build long-term relationship. Yeah. And in case of GC, they have a team. We have a team in the whole world. So in case of California, this case, our immediate response team is in Philippines. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And our long-term care team is in actually Andrews, AIM. You know, maybe you heard about AIM, Adventist Information Ministry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they have a team, very professional team. They have a, this long-term online care. And we include our pastoral staff, Bible workers and all the pastors, and also trained lay members too for this online pastoral mm-hmm. care team. We, it just started, we are actually still casting. So massive advertisement will begin May, very soon. Very soon. So please pray for this Absolutely. Uh, initiative. And I hope, I believe, I have a confirmation, it'll work. And I hope it might be able to be a, uh, I hope it'll be a kind of new, innovative method to reach out to people, the community. Yeah. You revealed a lot of really good, relevant, strategies that churches can implement now from just to like lower the barrier for people to engage with uh, Christians mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and from the prayer to the you know just asking them what their their struggle is and then follow up follow up follow up mm-hmm. and then inviting them to something like a community activity like uh, I haven't heard of any of this that's being done in the Adventist Church. So it's really encouraging to hear that there are actual tangible things that the church is working on, because I believe this is definitely going to work. Yes, praise God, praise God. I really, I'm very super happy being part of this ministry and this prototype project. The one thing I just want to emphasize before wrapping up is that the key words is prayer. I love it. You know, when we think about, when we thought about digital evangelism, it's only for like war and yeah, some technical savvy, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Well, not actually not. So that's yeah. why we call it hybrid. So even children, <laughs> even when Harabaji Harmony, we can be all part of this yeah. ministry. We can be united together with prayer. And revival and reformation mm-hmm. will take place through this project. So that's why I love this one and just emphasize one more time. Evangelistic prayer. Mm-hmm. Our prayer can save precious soul in my community. Yeah, you are not only reducing the barrier for entry for people that are unchurched or are not in our pews, you're reducing the barrier of entry for even our members to Hi. get into this it's not digital because then they start feeling this thing of like I don't know if I can, I'm possible so I like hybrid <laughs> hybrid it makes so much sense thank you so much for your time appreciate it. yeah for having me it's a great opportunity to share this story cool thank you alrighty <laughs> thank you wow first my contest experience thank you oh, so <laughs>